Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to insert a custom font into a Blazor server app. And just so you can see everything from scratch, I will actually go and create the project first now, and then we will go and insert the custom font, just so you also can see how I set up the project. So first of all, let's go and create a new project, and then we want to go and select the Blazor server app, say next, and then I call it for custom font app and just hit next again. And when it comes to the framework, it really doesn't matter if you use .NET 6, .NET 7, or if you even use .NET 8, it should be the same approach. So in this case, I'll just go with the long-term supported version of the .NET framework. So we will choose .NET 6, and that is actually it. So we go and say create. So now when we have our project, we actually need to go to this root folder expanded and you can see we have the css folder inside and also a fav icon but what we want to do is to right click and then say we want to add a new folder and we will call this for fonts and from here on we actually just need to put some fonts inside our fonts folder so in this case let's go and right click and say open folder in file explorer so we have the window open here and then let's actually go to google and let's find a font that we want to insert to our blazer server app so in this case i'll just go to google fonts and let's browse the fonts that they have and then let's go and download a font where we can see that we are pretty sure that it is a font that we actually use so th for example this one let's go and click this one and let's go and say download family so if I now go to my downloads folder on my PC, so let's go to downloads. I do have this folder now, or actually a zip file. So let's go and right click it and let's say extract all, say extract. And then we actually get this folder where we have the font that we can now go and use. So if we just go and drag and drop it inside our fonts folder from our project here, we can just take it, drop it over and just close this window. So now inside our www root folder, we have our fonts folder with this font inside. So the only thing we have to do now is to tell CSS that we're going to use this font. And the way we do it is just by using font face. So back at our project here, we can just go and expand the CSS folder and let's open our site.css file. So all this CSS is just what you get out of the box with a new Blazor server app. And what we want to do is just after this import statement, we can go and add some extra lines. And then we want to go and add this font face. So first of all, we want to tell CSS what should be the name of this font. And we do that by say font family. And then we just go and give it the name of the font that we found. It really doesn't matter what you type in here. It's actually just how you reference it uh, in your CSS. So for example, here in our HTML and our body, we have Helvetica, but instead of saying this, we can now go and put this one in. But we do need one more thing, and that is to tell CSS where do we have the font. So we can go and say source, and then say URL, and then just give it some single quotes. And then we can go and say that we want to actually go a folder back in the solution explorer over here because as you can see we have our css folder but we're actually inside our css folder right now so we want to go a step back so that we come to this folder and then can see the funds folder so the way we do that is just by set two dots and then we say a slash and now you can see it actually says that we can see the funds folder and then we want to target our font that we just downloaded. So that should actually be it. Uh, let's go and test this to see if we actually get the font that we downloaded. And as you can see here, if I just zoom in a bit, we actually use the font now. And because we said we use it in our HTML and our body, it will just be used on the whole Blazor server app. But just one last thing. If you want to go and import multiple custom fonts to your project, you can actually just go and copy and paste this font face. And then of course, go and give it a new name. If you have this font in, in just bold, you could go and call it bold at last here. And instead of the regular, then you maybe have a 
bolt font that you also downloaded and if you go to the w3s schools website you can actually go in and see how to use the font face even better because if we scroll down you can see we can actually use a lot more properties to the font face than i use i only use the font family and the source but you can also use for example the font weight so you define the specific font you have if if it have a weight so for example if you have a bold version of it you can go and say that the font weight is bold or else as default it will just go and be normal you can also go and say if the font style is italic if you have a version that is italic you could go and do that as default again it is just set to normal but yeah that is basically how you're going to insert a custom font to your blazer server application i hope you enjoyed this video and let's just go and have a nice day bye